5.30 a.m. I'm out in the woods gathering our bear cans. And we have an interesting day for you guys today. We have a surprise in the middle of our day. So we're going to hike, surprise, hike. Get ready. <laughs> If I was a bear can, where would I be? Right where sunshine left me. Good morning, it's day 51, I'm Sunshine. And I'm Captain, and we're still walking. And we're still talking. And this, is this our earliest day out, do you think? No, no, no? We have, we've definitely had it earlier. So we're on the road today, 5.30, because we have this special surprise that I told you about around noon or one. It's not really a surprise for you guys, but, but you'll be excited, we're excited. We have to hit 11 miles by then, so we've got to crank, and we have to be at that spot because there's someone picking us up there. Um, I didn't sleep great last night. I think that my sleeping stuff is just too warm now, and I'm just getting like, like sweaty, but then cold chills and just weird stuff going on. You slept fine, right? I slept but, amazing. Yeah. But it took you like an hour to fall, so if you kept tossing and turning, do you remember I said, are you yeah. okay? What yeah, was wrong? Nothing. I just, it took me a while to get to sleep. It was all that exciting conversation last night we had. <laughs> we haven't seen this many people in a long time, so it was really fun. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll circle back in a bit. My shorts feel like they're crawling up on me today and I just look down and like what is going on why are they why are they so uncomfortable no look at my shorts they're ripped do you notice anything no not really look closer they're on inside out <laughs> the underwear is on the outside That's what oh my gosh you guys look at this the underwear is on outside oh my gosh I'm glad I noticed before someone said hey honey why are your shorts on inside out so I fall I urinate on myself I put my clothes on inside out and backwards <laughs> please tell me I'm not the only hiker out here doing this because Largo is captain is surely not doing this I've been up since 3.30 and I should have written down everything I wanted to chat with you guys about but so so many things have come into my head in the last like 24 hours that I think are of value for you guys whether you're gonna hike the trail or not um, and so first number one is I was thinking about our meal with Lynn which brought us trail magic the other day and how for the first time in a long time I felt I wouldn't say 100%, but I would say a large percent comfortable with letting someone else take care of me, which is not my personal way of being. And in 2023, then in 2023, like midway through, and all of 2024, I've been really working on asking for help when I need it and accepting help. So the only thing that made me a little uncomfortable with Lynn is that, you know, when you go to dinner at someone's house, which is kind of what we were doing, even though she brought dinner to us, 
I didn't bring anything. I didn't bring wine or cheese or a dessert or anything. I came dirty. <laughs> And I didn't help clean up or anything like that after because I couldn't. And that makes me a little uncomfortable. But then I, at the end of the day, I was like, okay, I'm really proud of myself because I'm getting better at accepting help. And the only way doing what we're doing right now can truly work, especially on those days when you're really struggling. And you guys know I was struggling on that day is if you're willing to take help in situations where you cannot give the person anything back. Um, so that's just my own, like, I'll give myself a little pack, pat on the back. It's really difficult for me, um, but I'm getting there. The second thing is that I'm not one for absolutes, so absolutely do this or never do this. And sometimes, quite often, you'll hear it on the trail. You'll hear people say, I'm never slackpacking, or I'm never platinum blazing, or I'm, I don't know, whatever, whatever people say. Uh, and I have found such value in not saying that and having all the experiences, you know, I, I really, really like the camaraderie around a fire pit, which is usually a non fire pit, just a hole at this time of year. Cause it's, it's pretty warm where you sat, sit at the end of the day and everyone's got their bear cans and their bear bags and their earth sacks out and you're chatting about your day. Oops, almost fell. And I often tend to ask people why they're doing the trail. Cause that's what I like the most to know the deeper side behind why people do what they do. Hence our podcast. Um, but I also find value in spending the night in accommodations, not because I just get to have a shower and sometimes a bubble bath, but also because I get to converse in a different way with people um, with different people. And sometimes I get to engage with people that I normally wouldn't get to engage with on the trail. Maybe they're a section hiker and they're platinum blazing or something like that. So I've really liked in the last week, um, the kind of hybrid that we've had of sleeping in the hostels and slack packing and now back out here again. Um, I don't think we'll sleep in hostels that much just because it doesn't meet our budget. And it often compromises the miles we want to do because we're at the mercy of the shuttle drivers and their schedules oh, Jesus, and that kind of stuff. But I like, I, I just, I don't, I like having all the experiences. And so that's all I wanted to say was that it's just, you know, if you're going to do something like this or anything in life, um, always keep an open mind and just say yes to things that, that you might not normally say yes to. And you'll meet amazing people and you'll have really unique experiences. And also you might change your opinion about something or broaden your horizons or whatever. I, every time I sit down, oh, this is a little rough, rough here. Every time I sit down and have a conversation with someone, I've learned something new or I'm enlightened in one way or another. Okay. I'll be back soon. Hold on to my tomorrow. Shaking from my yesterday Still waking up, huh? still waking up Still waking up to today Holding on to my tomorrow Shaking from my yesterday Still waking up, still waking up Still waking up to I'm hiking, and Margo's usually about five minutes ahead of me And I see the trail looking like this I start to question, wait a minute, did I get off trail? <laughs> because it's pretty overgrown and not really that maintained. And then I get, I do, first thing I do is I look up to see if I can see a white blaze. And if I don't, I get on the app and just make sure I'm still on the trail. The app is far out and it is absolutely <laughs> cheesy mom humor. Um, fabulous. I had the paper maps with me and I left them in a hiker box at Uncle Johnny's because I just don't want to carry them. It's a lot of weight. I have cell service most of the time out here. Um, we have the app. Captain has the app. If something happens to my phone. And um, there's still we're still seeing a lot of people. So I might, you know, get some maps again when we get in the more remote areas when we've when a lot of people have dropped off. But right now the app is working really fabulously for us. So it was nice getting in earlier yesterday because we got to have dinner around the campsite with one, two, three, four guys. Um, and of course, 
I always ask the question, why are you doing this? One was for healing. Two, um, because they always wanted to do this and now's the time. And the third one, I think he was, his reason was the same, but I was, with him I was more focused on, um, all of us were, sex, uh, were through hikers northbound, except for this one gentleman who had hiked um, most of it, I think he only has two states left, over the course of, mm, I don't remember how many years, let's just say a decade. And he got back on the trail yesterday and he said that he's not gonna finish his remaining states. Um, basically, the time has come. He said he had a fall and his body just isn't cooperating like it used to. And we had a really fabulous conversation while I sat there for like 20 minutes rolling my arches and my calves on my ball in the shelter about how important it is to um, not wait, right? And I think what he's done is marvelous and he's made it so far. Many people don't even get to accomplish what he's accomplished. And if you're watching, you should be very proud of yourself. It was really a pleasure to chat with you. Um, there's a message there, right? And he had a lot of really great messages, but the one big takeaway was, you know, your body, you know, when you get older, what used to take your body a year to age will take, will happen in six months. And, and the aging process will happen a lot faster. Uh, we've talked about this a lot. I've referenced that book. It was an end of, written by Australian end of life um, nurse. Um, I believe she was a hospice worker. And basically there are five things that, that people that were dying, there are five regrets. Um, and you can go read the book. I won't spoil it for you. All right, I had to go look it up because I know, I think you'll, I feel like you guys deserve to know the title of this book. So, so Bonnie Ware wrote the book and the, the, one of the top five that I was re re referencing was, I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. And that's along the lines with waiting too long to do the things you want because you're doing the things you think you should be doing. I'm going to tell you the others just because I can't resist. I wish I hadn't worked so much. I'm working on that one. I wish I had the courage to express my feelings. I wish I'd stayed in touch with my friends. And I wish I had let myself be happier. Um... I'm pretty good about all of those except for working too much. I definitely work way, way, way too much. Um, go check out that book, guys. It's really great. Get it on audiobook. Go for a nice long walk and you'll love it. Well, this is a massive, massive gravestone. I'd say it's at least seven feet tall because I'm 5'8 and it's way taller than me. And it says, Uncle Nick Grandstaff, born and died. And it said, says, this is so sad. Oh my gosh, this is really sad. Um, it's hard to tell if you guys can see it on the camera, but lived alone, suffered alone, and died alone. Oh gosh, this poor man. Um, that's really sad. Look at the front of it here. Someone's left some fake flowers there. At first I thought it was a chimney because it looks like a chimney from this end. You know, that's, that's a really sad existence to have that on your gravestone. I mean, I'm assuming either it was at his request or his family really didn't like him and he was a mean, nasty person and they put that on there. Who knows? Um, <laughs> I hope that's not it. Oh my gosh. Oh, how sad to live alone, suffer alone and die alone. I can't, I can't imagine anything worse in life. Like I'm, so, I'm so grateful for the people in my life and they enrich it so much. Um, yeah, that's, that's heartbreaking. I don't know what else to say, except may he rest in peace at this point. And today we get to share, someone is coming to take us to lunch. And not only am I excited about the lunch, of course, but I am excited about the company. I'm so excited about the company. So who are we having lunch with today? Pause this right now and make your guesses in the comments, okay? I've been all I've been thinking about all day is what I'm gonna have for lunch. I want a lemonade. I know um, we're gonna go to the diner in Damascus. And last time was I had the tater tots, which are really, really good. I'll have those again. 
I don't know what I'm having for an entree, and I'm definitely gonna have dessert. And then we got, so the lunch date is part of the surprise. And then after, we're gonna do something else that's kind of crazy. But you guys know us, we're kind of crazy like that. Trail magic, how do you feel? Very excited, but yeah. we always hit it either in at the beginning of our hike or at the end. Of I our know, hike. right? Well, I'm just so so happy to see this, and with all these lovely chairs to sit in. Do you want to sit down for a minute? No. Are we going to become a bear target, or is the cat going to get eaten? All right, she's ready to go. She's ready to go. Did you miss her, Largo? Very much so. How's your day? Good. It wasn't that long to be honest, but we went. A fair amount of miles. We're still going, but I hear still. you're not done. Yeah, no, never done. All right, so are you guys good with Trail Magic now? Yes. <laughs> let's get out of here. All right, let's go. Y'all have a yeah. great Thank you so much. Nice meeting nice nice you guys. Yes. We'll see you again. Yes, we'll yeah. see you in the north. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Really appreciate you doing this. Wonderful. 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 Thank you. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Throw it in the trash. Thank you for letting us pet the cat too. Oh, you're welcome. This is the part in the vlog where you need to pause if you haven't watched the previous vlogs and go to vlog for day 27, I believe it is. It was our first slack packing day and we were midway Smokies and Will came to get us and he brought us back to his place in Damascus that he's renting. And we did, we were a day early, so he, we had an extra day, so we came over here and we slack packed 20 miles, I think 21.9, into Damascus. So we're gonna skip this part now because we've already done it. So go watch that and then come back here for the rest of the day, which is further ahead, if that makes sense. Should we do best and worst right now? <laughs> Are you so happy? This is the best lunch date ever. No kidding. This is the best. Super romantic. I don't have hiker on your but I mean like a hiker. <laughs> You're gonna put on the hiker pounds now too, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, bye. We'll see bye. you soon. Say bye, Century. Can you do this every day? Come grab us for lunch and then put us back on the trail? That's not through hiking. <laughs> well, well, well. I feel like a baby ready to take a nap after that lunch. And now it's time for another six miles. And another 5.6 miles, guys. So what we're doing is we had Will drop us off north of Damascus and we're gonna hike the 5.6 miles south so he can pick us up there tonight and we can spend, we can have a sleepover with him. Um, so yeah, and I left, oh look, I'm slacking because I left my pack with him. And I just decided to take my entire pack because there's no point in taking everything out. Largo's such a badass, he took his entire pack. He's crazy. It's just 40 pounds. And we have BLT sandwiches in the pack here just in case we decide to eat dinner along the way. Although he's convinced it's not gonna take us that long. No. But it's like this and then like this. It's two so miles up and then 3.6 miles down. Down, so here we go. We're under. Through. Through. How about that one? That's an over. Over. Oh my Are you okay? Tree one, Largo zero. I'm gonna guess there's a lot of questions right now about how did Will just appear out of nowhere and whatnot. So, Will had an, an Airbnb that he rented for our first month on the trail in Damascus. And tonight, so he's gonna stay in a hotel for a couple nights and we're probably gonna stay with him in Slack because we're knocking out more than, it looks like more than 100 miles a week now is what we're gauging and we're gonna to get too far north for him to come and uh, bring us back. So we'll see him this weekend slacking a couple of days, probably next Friday. Um, and then after that, we probably won't see him for a while. So um, we're gonna miss him. So today he snagged us for lunch because he just got here. And we just got here and then he'll get us tonight when we're done with the trail and we'll all go spend the night in a hotel. We'll do laundry and then Captain and I will get up and hike again tomorrow. So I, I bet there are a bunch of you who are wondering why are we going southbound? So this is our second time going southbound. Tomorrow will be our third. Our first was coming into Uncle Johnny's. We went north and then southbound it in. And the reason so far that we've done these southbounds is because of transportation. So that's when it worked out for 
the shuttle that we took coming into Uncle Johnny's. Today, Will brought us north to Southbound Inn because he's gonna still be working when we get into Damascus and it's easier for him to come get us there. This isn't that far ahead, but even 10 minutes makes a difference. So he can pop over and get us. And then, <coughs> excuse me, tomorrow is a huge difference. He's gonna take us way north before he starts his work day and then get us mid work day, but we'll be closer to him so he can pop out and get us. So, so far that's been the reason. Um, sometimes people southbound because it's easier to go southbound um, on, and they just need a break. So on Uncle Johnny's, it was definitely easier. I don't want to say definitely, but it, it was easier. A little bit easier to go southbound. Um, today, it's a little bit easier to go southbound, but not a bunch. There's an up and a down on both sides. And tomorrow, I don't know yet. I'd have to look at the map for that one. But um, I don't anticipate us doing too many southbounds. Um, it gets confusing for us. Luckily, we have an app that keeps track of all of it, so we don't miss anything. It gets confusing for you guys. Um, but either way, I just wanted to let you guys know, because I'm sure some of you are like, why are they going southbound? What's the reason? There's no grand prize at the end, like ice cream parfaits or something, which I would love, but it's not. We're getting so good. That was quick. What do you have to say? That was a really fast two miles. It was. Are you, are you making comments because I'm not carrying my pack and that's what was so fast? No. I sense, I sense some, a twang of sarcasm in your voice. I mean, I'm just saying, I didn't have to stop much. Oh my gosh. So now you're, you're refusing to slack at all. Is that your deal? No, no, no. That's okay. Can you carry my stuff too? <laughs> <laughs> ice cream and here it is. Are you getting a double scoop? Ooh, maybe. maybe. There's a kind on here I've never heard of which I'm curious about which is Play-Doh. I mean I've always liked the smell of it and felt like it smelled like something you could eat but I don't know. There's a lot to pick from there. This is Play-Doh. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> That's good. Cheers. Cheers, Captain. I don't get any of my peanut butter and your vanilla. Ooh. This could not have been any better. It's got a little outside stand. It has all kinds of crazy flavors. I'm coming back to get Play-Doh next time. <laughs> Perfect end to our hike. So I think the hiker hunger has probably hit mom at this point. Because are we going for another ice cream? We are. We walked, I don't know, point one, point two. I know how much Captain loves ice creams. I think in one day on the Camino Mar we had four. She's going crazy. It's it's simple. Simply put, she is the hiker hunger has overtaken her. I'm living, guys. I'm living. I'm She's living going good crazy. Life. Yet as much as I rag on you, I am still very happy about this. Did you say Dairy King is Dairy Queen's ex? Yep, we're we're eating <laughs> we're eating at the Dairy King. Dairy Queen's ex. Wow. Oh my god, that's huge. I'm gonna have diarrhea now. <laughs> Ice cream number two, I guess. So when we originally came into Damascus on the day, I think 27, we came in from the south now we're walking in from the north and we actually filled in the middle when we hiked in the parade for trail days so we've, we've officially completed damascus, damascus is and eaten a total of two ice creams in about 30 minutes <laughs> i think it was more like about five minutes wasn't it probably <laughs> it's a cute little town who's that hottie with his socks and his flip-flops and his cat <laughs> I do not have to worry about anyone trying to pick you up on the street. <laughs> so what happened was 
we um, think we'll my liners one, one I have a liner and a darn tough it. two sets of each and I, I don't know what happened to a liner and a darn tough but they disappeared right now, and I don't think they were stolen I think I must have left them someplace so um, unless they're in a bag someplace I think I'm gonna replace these now I'm gonna wait on the darn tough just in case we have them in a bag so it's time to send off these old very beaten up two-month-old hocus. Where your toe almost popped out where, of that corner. Where the hole is getting to be a bit much, just just a little bit, and so I think I'm going to have to, you know, send them off. We have a new ritual where we're going to be taking off the shoelaces from each one of these uh, shoes every time we replace a pair. Why? I'm not sure. Because Sunshine's going to make you a necklace to wear to college. Wow. A very smelly necklace. <laughs> so we have these new Ultra Zero Drop. It's going to be amazing to test out a new style since the Hoka's had a lot more soul to them. And then we also have a sun shirt as well. A sun shirt with fun. UV protection, right? Ooh. Who's that? Who makes that? Uh, is it Mountain Hardware? Mountain Hardware. All right. It's some new goodies. to try on, but we have You're going to look clean on the trail. And shoelaces. Ooh. Someone sent me a package for you. Ooh. Someone sent you a package for me? Trail Magic. Via really? post. Yes. Sue and Ray sent that. That's so sweet. I need a knife. Oh, wait. I have a knife. Look, where's my You're knife? You're a through hiker. What are you talking about? Where's I your know. knife? You don't want to take it off. It's a pain to get off. It's a pain to get off. You're, I can tell you can easily defend yourself. That's my bare bell you guys can hear right there. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> and my favorite, favorite, favorite MREs from Europe. Oh my god, you guys, thank you. They're all for me. It says for me, I think, on there. It says for sunshine. For sunshine. And only sunshine? And sunshine. Uh -huh. And Captain. Sunshine. Oh my gosh. <gasps> these look awesome! We will definitely savor these for so many oh, weeks. That's so sweet. That's not true. We were going to eat these in the first day. We are tomorrow. Make every minute, minute count. Sunshine Captain, enjoy a little trail magic. Oh, that is super. This is amazing. You guys, thank you so, 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 so much. I love it. I love homemade stuff. Don't tell me you bought these at the store and put them in Ziploc. Yeah, she was here in the States and then she mailed them to me. Wow. Oh, that's so that's sweet. Amazing. Oh my gosh. You think we'll eat them all tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. Welcome to the end of day 51, where we are very comfortably sitting in a very nice, oh, comfortable, so comfortable, comfortable, comfortable so, bed. It's so comfortable. We had a hot shower, and what else did we do? We had pizza. Today's been a really good day, and we hiked a ton today. We did. So we hiked day 51. I actually got to look at my chart here because I'm not going to remember it all. We hiked a total of 16.9 miles. Which rounds up to 17. Which is 17, which means we didn't lose any miles. And we didn't gain any. And we didn't gain any. We went from Van de Vetter um, shelter to Cross Mountain, Tennessee 91. And then we didn't go from Tennessee 91 to Damascus because we already done that. So then we went from after lunch, we went from US 58 southbound to Damascus, and then another 0.5 through the town. Uh, so it was it was a crazy day, but we did a lot. I guess after that amazing lunch, we could have come back, taken a nap, but we were like, no, why would we do that? Let's keep going. And I would say that was the best part of my day. That lunch was lunch. an amazing refuel. The lunch was really good. I have a couple best parts. We had trail magic. We got to see dad, who I really missed and we're still get to be with him for the next couple days. Um, don't worry, we're still gonna hike every day. And one of our friends mailed us our first package of trail magic trail that's been online, mailed to us. Online trail magic. Online trail magic, and we got all the Rice Krispie Treats stuff, it was really nice. And I definitely gobbled a few of those down oh, in I the did. past few hours. I might have one now for dessert. And I don't, did you have a worst part of your day today? I'm going to say the worst part is going to be waking up tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I feel a little out of it. I'm tired and it's it's 9.30 and then um, Will and I have a client call from 10 to midnight. So, you're, you're, are you going to bed now? Or? Yeah, I am most likely going to crash, Yeah. fall asleep, sleep oh. amazing, and then wake up very early. Oh, oh my gosh. So we're going to be with Will for a couple days. 
he's going to slack us, um, but we're still going to hike every day. And we've decided, I think, did we decide we're not going to do a zero? Yeah, I think we decided that. And my Achilles are not better, but they're feeling a little bit better. And so I think we're going to just keep going. And we don't, neither one of us feel like we need a zero, but I mean, just sleeping in a bed like this is This like, is practically a zero. It's practically, yeah, I, right? Isn't that funny that we feel like if we get to sleep in a bed, it's practically a zero because we haven't taken, well, we haven't taken a zero since we've been back on the trail and that's been, Sunday will be two weeks. So, yeah. I mean, I, we're not like trying to win any awards, but about never taking a zero, but we just don't feel like we need, I mean, we're tired, but we don't feel like we need You see, we're the best because we never take zeros we're and we'll never. we'll never fall prone to injury. No, 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 no. And we're never going to take a zero between now and Katahdin. I'm just kidding. We don't know. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us again. And we will see you tomorrow for another day of adventure. Bye. So if you've been around here for any period of time, probably even five minutes and you know this, that food, oop, Jesus. <laughs> Cracked myself up. Oh, that's awesome. Yep, yep. so next year this will be me. Right. And I'm so excited, I can't wait. So I'm just trying to do like everything I can and to find, you know, just like get all the hints and the tips yeah. I can Yeah, that's because, a great way with trail map. Yeah. No, I hope there's one more before we get to that. I don't think we can handle one more. This one's huge. I have a present for you. Open your eyes now. You ready? Yes. You're gonna love this. Oh no, what's this? Oh no, is this one of those head mosquito nets? It goes over your apple hat, and the rim of the hat will keep it off your face. You know how you're complaining about the bugs. Well, this does seem useful.